Okay guys, I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of an embarrassing secret. When I did a video a little while back on uh, don't make these PC building mistakes, um, <laughs> one of them was about enabling your RAM XMP profile to make sure it's actually running at the high speed of RAM that you bothered purchasing. Now, uh, when I was making that video, I went in and checked on my RAM settings and found out that my XMP profile was disabled. And I don't know how that happened because I, I know for a fact when I built my computer that I did enable the RAM XMP profile. So I don't know how that got disabled. Maybe at some point I did like a BIOS update that disabled it. I don't know, I don't remember. So for all I know, it could have been a year or more that I didn't have my RAM running at its 3000 megahertz speed that it's capable of. Instead it was running at, uh, what is it, like 2100 or something like that that it defaults to. Um, so in this video I thought I'm actually going to test how much of a difference that makes. Let's do some benchmarking in games, and I'll also show you right here real quick uh, where you find that in your BIOS settings. Now, that'll be a little different on every uh, motherboard, every BIOS, but I'll, I'll show you real quick on mine uh, where that is, and yours will probably be pretty similar. Put on my glasses, because I'm actually blind and don't didn't put in my contacts today. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna start up your computer and then you've got to quickly hit the right, um, oops, I hit boot menu. F12 was boot menu, but um, you wanna go into your BIOS settings. And from here, it depends again on exactly where you are. But it might be under something like this, we see advanced frequency settings, that kind of thing, advanced memory settings. There's all sorts of places it could be. And you can look up uh, your specific motherboard and you should be able to find some advice there if you can't find it. But if you just click around, uh, you're probably not gonna hurt anything <laughs> as long as you don't change actual settings that you don't understand. Looks like I'm not finding it there. So again, I'm just gonna back out. Let's go to advanced memory settings. That's probably it. Yeah, so extreme memory profile, XMP. You'll notice right now that it is disabled and that my system memory multiplier is 21.33, which is not what I want. So if we go in here, we can go to profile one and it automatically selected 30. That'll give me the 3000 megahertz that I actually want to be running at. Now at this point, I just need to save and exit. All right, so start up Shadows of the Tomb Raider. We're gonna be running this at 1440p on my RTX 2070. And this game is somewhat CPU bound. Um, I have an i5-9600K. And as far as the settings I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna go graphic settings. I'm gonna run on the highest preset. See, I'll show you it is the highest preset, everything selected, and we are going to run the benchmark. So we'll get three times through and take an average in case there's any differences. Then we'll switch our RAM back down to turning the XMP profile off. And then we will run the benchmark three more times and see if there's any differences. All right, here we are in Gears 5. We're going to run in the benchmark three times. Right now we have the uh, 3000 megahertz RAM. Get a quick average, and the game should be on ultra settings. It, it'll show us here at the end of the benchmark. We'll let you see the benchmark the first time through, and then we'll just grab the averages real quick. All right, here's our results the first time through. And as you can see, the graphic settings are set to ultra. And let's run this two more times, get an average, and then turn off the XMP profile. All right, here we are in Deus Ex Mankind Divided, running the benchmark. Everything's at the ultra preset. This is with the XMP profile on. And as usual, we'll run, get an average, and then we will turn off the XMP profile and see what we get. All 
All right, this is the Gears Tactics benchmark, and we've got everything on the Ultra preset. 1440p. So as you can see, this game is showing a much more dramatic uh, difference. And if we look at all of the games together here, let's draw to some uh, final conclusions. Basically, in every single game, we saw a better frame rate average with the XMP profile on. So it does clearly make a difference in every game we tested. However, in most of the games, it made a the difference that you wouldn't really notice actually using it. And um, again, we saw the most dramatic difference in the Gears Tactics, where it's around a four frames per second difference. And you know what? That still wouldn't be very, very noticeable in the game, but it, it's at the point where, you know, if you were struggling between maintaining like 60 frames per second or not, it could make a difference. It's interesting to me that it was uh, so different in this game compared to the other ones. Um, and maybe if we tested, you know, 20 games instead of four games, we'd see that happen in a few others. Overall, I've got to say there's, um, you know, you shouldn't panic if you forgot to turn on your XMP profile, but at the same time, why would you want to give up any amount of performance that you paid for when you got your RAM? The other thing that I draw uh, from this is that I don't think like it's going to be worth paying some huge amount extra to get much much faster ram speeds if your main purpose is gaming at least if you're on a system like mine i have heard that amd systems running on ryzen are more sensitive to the ram speeds so that could be a factor but again on my i5 9600k and then on my ram that goes up to 3000 megahertz and uh, uh, on the xmp profile we saw, well, in most games, very little difference, but um, in every game it was better with the speeds turned on. Once again, I'm not quite sure why mine disabled itself randomly at the, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, when I checked on it the other day, and hopefully it doesn't do that again. But you can pop open Task Manager and click on Performance and um, see, uh, click on your memory, and then you can see your RAM speeds and see what they're running at now, guys. You might want to check in on that. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you find out you didn't have XMP running. Thank you, and have an excellent day.